Uh, hello YouTube, this is Alex and this is the next installment of the simple guide of trading options. And this is the part three and this is the where we start the fun part and we're gonna discuss how to beat the market. The market is the S&P 500 and we're gonna be discussing three main strategies. The first one is gonna be the naked put. It's just uh, selling just a normal put, put option. A cover call, which is uh, having the stock and then selling a call against it. And the third, and uh, my favorite, is the strangles, which is basically a put, selling a put and selling a call out of the money. So let's start with the first two, the naked put and cover calls, since those are bullish strategies. So those are strategies that we want the market to go up and eventually the market will go up because uh, those are the S&P 500 are the best 500 companies and um, you know it's it's normal for any company to the best company to keep improving um, with the technolo technology and human uh, ingenuity and all that good stuff eventually all those companies are gonna uh, keep getting better and better. So let, let's see a back test that the guys of Tasty, Tasty Trade did. Uh, you can check them out and learn for free, basically from tastytrade.com. And this is a back testing they did to try to prove that uh, being an active investor is better than just uh, doing a buy and hold strategy. And here we they are comparing a uh, short at the money put, a uh, cover 30 delta call, the uh, a long S&P 500 uh, stock. In this case, it will be 100 S&P 500 uh, stock if we're using the ETF, the SPY ETF, and a cover at the money call. And here, they, they started at 2000 and finished this test 2016. And this is good because we can actually visualize uh, during the uh, bear market and bull markets, how the different strategies uh, perform. And as we can see from 2000, we have a, a downtrend of a bear market and the S&P 500 did worse than the other strategies. And then we got a, a bull market and again, the, the financial crisis where everything went down. And uh, here we're, we're losing money in all the strategies that just no, no way around it since we, we are trading the, the stock market and everything went down but we still lose less and then again from 2009 we had a major bull market and again we can see that even in, in, in a straight up bull market the S&P 500 usually is going to outperform everything else but even there here we, we see that you know the other strategies are already making uh, ha have a, a big advantage. So let, let's analyze each year uh, to see how actually perform each year. So here we can see every single year how the S and P five hundred, including uh, dividends, uh, held. And in, in two thousand, for example, we can see that the S and P five hundred lost nine percent, and the other strategy actually. Uh, make money, the short of the money puts make money, and the cover at the money calls make money, and the cover three delta calls uh, were even. And again, and in 2001, it lost 12% and the other one lose uh, less money. 2002, we got a big uh, losing year here with 22%, and the other strategies all, almost either they cut the losses a half or you know cl close enough. Here in 2003, we, we see a big uh, year, recovering year for S&P 500. And even then, it, even though it did outperform, it wasn't for that much. Uh, it, we compare with the 30 Delta calls, it was almost the, the same. So overall, we can uh, compare all, all these years. You can pause this video and, and, and examine it uh, at your own pace. But in 2008, this is another big year with 30 cent. 37% loss and the other strategies again lose uh, a, a lot less. So you can uh, take a look at this 
uh, sorry, but the, the most important thing is that when the, uh, if we compare the average yearly return, the S&P 500, we can see that we're making uh, better results. We have, we're having better, better results with the other strategies, either uh, shorting the, the money puts, covering uh, at the money uh, calls, which they, it didn't outperform, but it, in, in terms of the median yearly returns, it did. So this is something that is very important, but the most important part here is the standard deviation of yearly returns. And this is basically the risk. So the, the standard deviation of, of the S&P 500 is 18%. Of course, we, we had those uh, big events. And if you, if you we compare it with the other strategies, we, we're having similar returns with less uh, risk. And in terms of percent of, of weeks, profitable profitable weeks, you know, it, we are over 60% in other strategies and in the S&P 500, only 55% in a basically uh, a bull uh, market overall. Again, those were talking about the naked puts and the cover calls, comparing them with the long S&P 500 uh, index. And now we're going to talk also about the strongest, but first let's uh, compare it. Let, let's go to the software and see how I actually make these trades. Uh, so here we are in the Tastyworks platform and we're using SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. And this is where we're going to simulate the, those same uh, tests. This is again, if I click the, the trade tab, we can see here, these are the, the different expiration for each month. And I am only using the standard expiration. So we're going to focus on this one on February, 49 days to expiration. If we were going to make a trade, we always uh, want to try to keep it between 40 to 60 days. So let's open this one. And the different strategy that we were talking about, the first one was the short uh, naked put. And it's simply just uh, a short put. And there are different ways that we can make this trade. The, my favorite way to do it is just clicking the bid. If I'm selling, just click here. Let's say I, I want to uh, sell this strike price. I can just click here. And now it's already, you can see here, uh, how the price that I'll be getting will be $5. Uh, so the max profit will be $501. Uh, if, if this is the price, if uh, $5 with, with one cent. Uh, an easier way to do it is let's, let me delete this leg is going to the strategy box here i can click here and i see uh, uh, i get a a lot of different strategies a again be sure to be to be short short in the strategy since we want to sell uh, options and not buy them uh, if you're not sure why you can go back to the last video where i explained why it is uh it's not good to buy options and it's always better to sell them. So if, if I click here, you see I can change it everything to long and also they are green. So be sure to just click them and keep it, keep them in short uh, with the red. And here we can see different strategies. The we see verticals, triangles, travels, option, I don't count cover, uh, call, uh, butterfly, JD chart, calendar, and Forget about all those strategies. We're going to focus on the three that I mentioned, which are the strangle, the short put option, and the cover call. Uh, let's start with the, the put option. This is the trade that I just uh, did manually. Here I can decide to make it a call or a put. So I'm going to leave it in a put and just click go. And automatically it will put it here. And from here I can just decide where what strike I want to to use. So if I want uh, the 240 strike price, I can just uh, drag, click and drag. But in that back test, the it was not the money uh, put. So the right now the SPY is at 249.50. So the closest to that price will be 249. So if we go to try to replicate that strategy, we'll be uh, selling the put that is closest to the money. So let's clear everything again and let's go for the cover call. And again, we can go to this strategy here, click here, and we go to the cover 
call. Again, if you, you see this is a cover put, now we're, we're talking about the cover call, which is a uh, long 100 uh, stocks uh, on one call. So again, we go, we click here, covered, and automatically you can see we have 100 shares by two open and one uh, short 251 call. And they made two two of these, one at the money, which will be the 250, which is the closest to 249. And the other one was using the 30 delta cover calls. And the delta is basically this column, and it is very, it is, it's one of the most important uh, columns to, to understand, but if you don't have it, you just click here and you can decide what to put there. And I just leave it at delta. And the other one was a 30 delta cover call. So it will be the closest to the 30 delta. And here we have the 29 and 31. And it doesn't really matter which one you pick. It's the difference you can see here the, in the, the max profit on this trade will be $1,500. And just change it a little bit. Well, the, the price just changed a little bit, but it's, it's not going to uh, make a, a big difference. So this is the next strategy. And here we can see the, the green uh, bar here is our profit zone. So if we delete the call and we just buy, by here we, we're buying the 249.50, let's say we, we buy the 250. Right at 250, you see if the stock price goes down, we're in the red zone, we'll be losing money. If it goes up, we'll be making money, right? So making a cover call, we can see here we, 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 we're buying 100, uh, each option is 100, uh, equivalent to 100 stocks. So if we sell this uh, 30 delta, 31 delta call, we're receiving uh, close to $4, $3 with uh, 86, 87 cents, right? So now we're break even, we have the, that, that amount of, of uh, cushion basically. So if we go to the add the money, you see our cushion is better because we're receiving more, we're receiving $9. So the stock price can go at $9 and we're still in, in our, uh, we're still in our, uh, above our break even zone, right? Uh, so the, the good thing about this type of strategy is that if, if it just stays right there, let's say it's hovering between 246 and 256 and still you know the next uh, month is, is hovering about those price i still get to take that premium so that's the second strategy and the third strategy let me clear everything up again will be the strangle again the strangle i can just come here and look for the strangle and click here i will it's just a call and a put again this is the side of the calls and this is the size of the puts and I, again, I can move them. Let's say I want to do a 30 delta strangle, then I go for the delta here in the put. 29 is close enough, or let's go to 31. And on the call, I do the same thing in the call, the 31. So in this in this trade, if I were going to do this trade with 49 days to expiration, the 239 put and 261 call, I will be getting a 870 or eight hundred and seventy dollars basically so those are the the strategy that, that we were talking if i want to uh have a better probability then i can uh, i clear everything up but i can just uh do it manually and just click one side and click the other one the other side and that's it we, are, we have a strong right there and this would be the 29 delta let's say i, I want a 16 delta and here we have a bigger probability but we will be getting less money now we're only getting 391 dollars so we, we again uh, discuss all those strategies and now these are back test uh, again that tc trade did and we're, we're comparing these triangles with different deltas up to a struggle a struggle is, is just uh, a struggle with both a call and a put at the money so if we go go back back again here and I, I decide to go to instead of a struggle go to a struggle straddle then 
it's just the same thing, right? It, it's a call and a put, but add the money. So this will be a strangle. And if we just decide to, to make it a straddle, just move it right there. So that's, that's the only difference, but everything else is the same thing. So here, here we can see uh, the different performance that we're taking. And the, the main important part is that, of course, the higher the, the returns, but also higher the risk. As you can see in the 50, in this straddle, when we got in 2008, we got a, a bigger move than if we compare it to, to the 5 delta or 10 delta or 16 delta, right? At the end, just the 30 delta will outperform the other ones and the 50 will outperform the 30 delta, but the swings are going to be bigger. So it depends of your risk tolerance, which one uh, do you like? I usually, I prefer from 30 to 20. 20 and 30 deltas are my, are my go-to deltas in, in terms of the strangles. So let's see if we can improve. Uh, and they did a, a study using the SPY strangle from 2005 and to 2017 using 45 day to expiration uh, options. And they're gonna compare all the, those different deltas, the 10, 16, 20, up to 50. They're gonna compare it holding to expiration or managing the positions. And managing the positions is one of the ways that we can improve the strategies. Even though uh, just leaving it to expiration, uh, we're gonna make money. We can, if we can improve the the, the risk and the returns, then is why not do it? The way we're gonna start manage the position at 21 days to expiration. What that means is when there are three weeks uh, for the exp the option to expire, we're gonna close it. It doesn't matter if we're winning or losing or break even, we're gonna close it and open a new one and, and redeploy. That's that's gonna be the strategy. So let's see here, the different uh, deltas. You see very easily uh, the the, it outperform in all scenarios, uh, closing it at 21 days, which is three weeks before expiration. And it, uh, you can see the when, when it goes down, very this is very easy to see in the, in the 20 delta. And in in 20 in two, 2008, 2009, when we got that big uh, move, you can compare. It, we still lost money during that period, but it was a lot less. And you see the volatility is a lot less also. And here in the next one, again, the 30 delta, 35 delta, 40 delta is the same thing in all delta. So it doesn't matter which delta you 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 decide to use, depending on your risk. The important thing is that you can improve the performance if you manage it. And you can manage it early. And this is one of the ways that we're going to be managing or managing uh, as a, a percentage of your credit received, which is 50% most uh, of the time, or do both, which we're gonna be discussing in the next video. So hopefully you liked this video and it was helpful. In the next video, we're gonna be uh, talking about how to do it in with the smaller account. So if you like this video, don't, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and thank you very much. See you later.